So, you've decided to start streaming. Congratulations! You see streams with overlays, and you know that you want one too. But... how? You're thinking there's so many sites? Do I have to have my own art? How do I put my overlay into OBS? What am I even doing? But don't worry. It all looks overwhelming at first, but I'll guide you through the process, and you'll be making your own overlays in no time like a champ. Let's go. The site that I'm going to use is Stream Elements. Here you can set up your overlays, do a bot, see your stream stats, chat commands, modules, giveaways, everything you could want. We'll go over some of the other stuff later, but right now I'm going to show you how to make overlays. So first thing we're going to do is go to the Themes Gallery. That's where you're going to find pre-made overlays. So you can see there's many different kinds. Uh, there's holiday kinds, all sorts of stuff. So if you go into the themes, these are going to be single overlays. If you go into super themes, it's going to have a full set of overlays. So everything you can need, BRB, game, IRL, starting, ending, whatever. They also just added new alerts. So you can get alerts that are all the same. Uh, this way, if you don't have channel art made, Boom, you already have alerts that are all the same. You don't have to find GIFs, anything. So what you're gonna do is click one, create my overlay, type in an overlay name, doesn't matter what it is, whatever helps you, create my overlay. Then it's gonna pop up with all the links for each overlay scene. Uh, you don't need these right now, it's fine. Go to see my theme and overlays. So now you're in my overlays. This is where your overlays are gonna be. Any ones that you ever make will be here. If you want to edit one, you're going to click these little pencils. But what I did here is go to a simpler one, because those Christmas ones are very overwhelming. So this is where you can adjust anything. Um, this is a really simple pre-made one from Stream Elements. You have things like your camera overlay. Basic, you need this. Now when you go to try to adjust the size, it's not going to work in auto. You need to be scaled. Uh, Adjust it to whatever you want. Just make sure that you adjust your camera as well in your OBS. You can drag it around, whatever. Now there's, they usually put little spots for your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. This is fine. If you want to adjust it, click the words and then type in your information. Mine's Pants Off Gaming Channel. <laughs> it's very long, but you just drag it around, make your space adjust things the way you want to do it. Once you do that, you can go into text settings and change the way that it looks. I usually cut off text shadow. You can change the size, you can change the fonts. They have a lot of fun fonts in here, but you do have to click them to see what they look like. You can also change the color. And if you want to make all your things the same color, really easy, pick your color, copy and paste. So also you have these little labels to tell you your new followers, donations, subs, etc. These are really good to have, really easy to do. So I'm going to delete this one and show you how to enter it yourself. You're going to go to widgets. There's a lot here. It looks like a lot, but it's not that bad. In another video, I'll explain way more of these. But for now, we're just going to do latest follower. So you're going to go down here and stream labels. You have things like latest follower, latest cheer, um, latest tipper, and latest subscriber. These are the typical labels that people have in their streams. So you clicked it, it has a bunch of words. You don't need all that. You have new follower up there in your pretty font. So you're just gonna click it, edit your text, erase latest follower, and make sure you have a bracket name and close bracket. That's how it keeps track of what you want it to say. Now if you just drag it like that, it's going to cut some words out. You do have to adjust the font. So make it smaller, fit it in there the way that you want it, color, whatever you want to do. So now you have the alert box. This is important. This is where all your alerts are going to be. You can adjust the size to whatever you want it to be and you can say what you want to be alerted for. If you don't want the alerts, uncheck it. If you want the alerts, make sure it's checked. So to edit it, you're going to click the settings wheel. You can change your image, 
This is where all your images that you've ever uploaded into Streamlabs will be. You can do GIFs or you can do pictures, but they will stay here and it's really handy for not finding other things. So we're gonna choose this um, GIF that I like, it's from the office. You can also change your sound and same thing goes here. Every sound that you've ever uploaded will be here unless you delete it. So pick whatever sound you want. I'm just gonna pick a random one and then you can test it to make sure that it looks right. So it comes out, you'll hear the sound, I don't have the sounds on for it. There's different ways that you can do the layout for your alert. Play around with those, do what's best for you. You can also adjust the message. So personalize it, make it say what you want it to say, adjust the duration. I usually do this for however long my sound alert is. Make it your own, do what works best for you and your stream. Once you're done with that, go through and do every single one. All right, so we're gonna do the text-to-speak for tip alerts. A lot of people like to have that. If someone tips, they get to do a message and it's spoken out. So you click your donations, you TTS, enable text-to-speech, set the volume for it, play around with this, see what works. Choose the voice that you want. There's a lot of voices to choose from. Play around with them, see what you like. Also, set the minimum amount to trigger the text-to-speech. A lot of people like to spam, so consider making it like $5 or something. It's up to you. All right, so once you have it the way that you want it, make sure that you go down and you click save. That's so important. If you X out, it's not gonna be saved. Also, if you wanna delete anything, you can click it and click delete in the bottom left, or you can just drag, hold it, and then press delete on your keyboard. Hold it, otherwise I can't guarantee that it'll delete the right thing. Sometimes it's weird. Another tip, kind of not easy to notice when you're moving things around, they're snapping on and off. If you have it on, the things that you're moving are gonna do this weird thing, it tries to line it up the way that it thinks it's supposed to be, it's weird. If you cut it off, you can move it around really freely and smoothly, and it makes lining things up a lot easier the way you want it to be. So once you're done, press your save, you click launch, it's gonna show you a link under export overlay. Click that link, it'll automatically copy to your clipboard. That's what you're gonna use to put into OBS. We will get into that in just a minute. Next, I'm gonna show you how to make your own overlay from a blank slate. So you're gonna be in my overlays, Create blank overlay. I'm gonna name it whatever. You can say what the skim's for. It doesn't matter so much. Whatever helps you. So it's gonna populate. Click the pencil. And then now, here you are with a blank, fresh screen. First, you're probably gonna to wanna to put in some pictures. So you're gonna click insert image. There's your box for it. Set image. Now you can put any of your pictures. I just showed you how to do that part. Camera overlay is usually first. You can drag it around with auto. Scaled is usually the way to go though. So it's a little bit of playing around, but figure it out and then put all the pictures that you want. Okay, so now we're gonna put widgets. So like I showed you before, you're gonna go and you're gonna find the widget that you want. Fix the title of it. I like to just have the name though. So once you have that, drag it over to where you want. With a snap off, it'll be a lot easier. Again, you can change the color. It's very customizable. I cut text shadow off because it makes it look a little weird with text shadow on. Put your, find your best, find the font that you want, and then you're done. So that's how you put your pictures and your labels. So you're gonna want to do your labels for each thing that you need. Um, there's usually followers, bits, donations, and subs. Once you're done with that, we go back into the widgets. So next, and also very, very important, is your alert box. Go to Stream Alerts, Alert Box, and Add. This is so important because it shows your viewers that you're noticing what they're doing. Since I've already showed you guys how to set up your alert box, I'm not gonna stay too long on it because there are so many more things we can do. So go back to widgets. These are fun little things you can add if you want. You can add a hype cup. 
I'm sure you've seen little cups on people's streams. They have little bits in them. When something happens on stream, it creates hype. It adds fun. It's pretty cool. So you're going to click Hype Cup. You're going to see all your little things fall in. It's very exciting. Um, you can customize it. Like everything. You can choose what triggers your cup. You can change your cup. There's some uh, holiday ones like the jack-o'-lantern. They don't have any Christmas ones, but that's fine. If you want to test it to see how it's going to look, go down to the test. You see it drop in. You know it's good. Alright, so now you want to know how in the heck do I put this into OBS? Well, that's not that bad either. You should already know how to set up a scene. So you're going to choose the scene that you want. Go to Sources Plus. Add a new source. And with these websites, it's going to be Browser Source. So we're going to click Browser Source. Add Source. Name it whatever you want. Uh, this is good so that you know what the heck this is. You can use it on other, other scenes. Right here is where you would put the link that came from the launch. I told you before, it's very important. Um, I'm not putting mine here. They have tokens on them. But this is where you would put it. Trust me. You're also going to adjust the dimensions for it, where it says 800 and 600. I'm sure most or all of you are going to be 1920 by 1080. So set that to the right dimensions. Uh, even if you do just an alert box, I set it 1920 by 1080 because it it fits the way that it was supposed to be in stream elements. Also, where it says shut down source when not visible, make sure that is checked. If you don't have that checked, you will get alert notifications from all of your scenes, no matter which one you're in. And that's really awkward. And you don't want that. So make sure that button is checked. This is what it would look like if I had just the basic and no game background. This information, you should be able to set up your own pre-made basic stream elements overlays and even do your own custom overlays. Overlays are going to change your stream so much. They add character and it makes it look like you care about what you're doing and you put some effort into it. We'll go over some videos later about what overlays are good and things to include in your overlays. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this helped you out.